today actually I'd like to talk about whether the manufacturing job is coming back to the United States. Um, I think many of you may have read the story that appeared in New York Times last Sunday. Uh, it was a very good story that focused on Apple and it starts out uh, President Obama asking Steve Jobs last year, well, uh, Mr. Jobs is still alive. Uh, it was a party, dinner party in Silicon Valley, asking really point blank Steve Jobs, why is Apple not making iPhones in the United States? Can we make them here in the United States? I think that's the question he asked. And Jobs pretty much answered, you know, his answer was, those jobs are not coming back. Now, this was a very good story because um, it, it reminded me of the conversation that I had with my husband last October, right after Jobs died. Actually, while that happened, um, I was in, in, in Silicon Valley and I came back to Brooklyn and I had breakfast with my husband who is a writer and he was asking me the same question, Junko, why suddenly Steve Jobs was ascended in, ascended in the um, St. Foot and nobody is blaming him not keeping jobs in the United States. And I actually took Steve's, you know, job side. You know, I told him, okay, well, they may be doing a lot of R&Ds here. There are retail jobs related to Apple stores. There are jobs, you know, maybe the assembling is not the uh, stuff that people do in the United States anymore. But then I thought about this long and hard after reading that New York Times article, and I came to my conclusion, as the editor-in-chief of EE Times, we talked about outsourcing. Outsourcing has always been the biggest headache, biggest problem with a lot of en our engineering ex executives. And, uh, but in many ways, I think we defended the corporation's decisions sending jobs overseas in the name of globalization or in the name of the world is now flat. You know, you don't whine about this thing. But I think maybe we got this all wrong. I think it may be the time for us to think, are these jobs really not coming back? I think actually it takes political will to make it happen. But if China was able to build this whole, whole infrastructure so fast in the last 15 years, why can't we bring them back to the United States? That's my two cents.